how to update the salary WPS employer ID, GPSSA employer ID, and daily limit. To start, always remember to securely log in to business online. First, go to Administration. Click on Other Parameters and Modify. Click on the reference number. Please note, the Salary WPS Employer ID has 13 digits, including the prefix if any, the number of zeros, and the company number. Once you modify the parameters, click on Save. Review the saved parameters and click on Confirm. You've successfully updated the parameters as required. How to register beneficiaries and employees for within bank payments. For registering beneficiaries in Emirates NBD and Emirates Islamic, please go to Payments and click on Initiate, Register Beneficiary, and Add Beneficiary. Select Within Bank Payment. Choose from Account, Card, or Salary Prepaid Card from the drop-down menu. Select the beneficiary country. Add the beneficiary nickname. Fill in a valid 23-digit IBAN. Fill in the address lines. Contact details are optional. In case of salary transfer, check Beneficiary is an employee. In case of salary WPS transfer, check Beneficiary is an employee. Select WPS Employer MOL ID and fill in the WPS Employee ID. Please ensure that the WPS Employer ID is pre-registered by the admin user. If the beneficiary is not an employee, uncheck the Beneficiary is an employee option. By default, the beneficiary will be available for any CIF on my subscription. If you need to restrict the beneficiary to specific CIFs, click on Selected CIFs. Select the required CIFs and click on Submit. If you have the access to authorization, click on the authorization type. Choose Token and enter the token. And click on Confirm. You've successfully added a beneficiary for within bank payments. How to register beneficiaries for local currency payments. For registering beneficiaries for local currency payments, please go to Payments and click on Initiate, Register Beneficiary, and Add Beneficiary. Select Local Currency Payment. Choose Account or External Card from the drop-down menu. Select the Beneficiary Country, United Arab Emirates. Add the Beneficiary Nickname. For Account, fill in a valid 23-digit IBAN. For external card, provide a valid 16-digit card number. Fill in the beneficiary name and address lines. Contact details are optional. In case of salary transfer, check beneficiary is an employee. In case of salary WPS transfer, check beneficiary is an employee. Select WPS employer MOL ID and fill in the WPS Employee ID. Please ensure that the WPS Employer ID is pre-registered by the admin user. If the beneficiary is not an employee, uncheck the Beneficiary is an Employee option. By default, the beneficiary will be available for any CIF on my subscription. If you need to restrict the beneficiary to specific CIFs, click on Selected CIFs. Select the required CIFs and click on Submit. If you have the access to authorization, click on the authorization type. Choose Token and enter the token. And click on Confirm. You've successfully added a beneficiary for local currency payments. How to authorize beneficiaries. For authorizing beneficiaries, please go to Payments and click on Pending Activities. Now select Beneficiary Authorization and click on Beneficiaries. Choose Individual Beneficiaries or Select All as required. Now click on Authorize. Click on the authorization type, choose Token and enter the token. 
and click on Authorize. You've successfully authorized one or more beneficiaries. To view registered beneficiaries, please go to Payments and click on Quick Pay. All the registered beneficiaries will be available in the Quick Pay widget. How to initiate a basket payment, WPS. Please go to Payments, select Basket Payment, and Basket Payment WPS. Select the relevant employer MOL ID. Select Debit Account. Double click to select the account directly or search by name, nickname, currency, etc. Select the employee MOL ID. Double click to select the employee. Select salary, month, and year. The pay period gets auto populated. Entering days on leave without pay is optional. Now enter salary information, income fixed component, income variable component, and total salary. Click on Add, View, Additional Details for Allowances like Housing, Conveyance, Medical, Annual Passage, Overtime, etc. Leave Allowance and all other allowances are optional. Enter any reference for yourself. For example, Salary for May 2025. Click on Add to Basket. If you need to add more employees, start the same process by clicking on Employee MOL ID again. If not, click on Submit. You may save this transaction and use it as a template for future payments. Review the details and if correct, click on Confirm. Your basket payment, WPS, is submitted successfully. How to Authorize Basket Payment, WPS. For authorizing basket payment, WPS, please go to Payments and click on Pending Activities. Now, select Basket Payments and click on Basket Payment Authorization. Choose Individual Basket Payments or Select All as required. Select Reject or Authorize. Verify all details and click on Authorize. Click on the authorization type. Choose Token and enter the token. Click on Submit. A confirmation window pops up. You've successfully authorized Basket Payment, WPS.